Welcome. This instructional video will show you how to print die sublimation transfers using MultiRip, the leading hybrid software for the decorated apparel industry. MultiRip comes pre profiled for both Sublegit IQ and Artanium sublimation inks from Sawgrass Systems. You will choose which one of these inks you want to use for your computer during the setup process. Multi-rip also comes profiled for polyester fabric, ceramic tile, glass, metal, and FRP plastic. The unique thing about multi-rip is it allows you to print directly from your graphic software program, whether it be Photoshop, Illustrator, Corel Draw, or Corel Photo Paint or any other graphic software program. To begin with, you'll open up your graphic. The graphic we're using is from Great Dane Graphics. Once you have your graphic set up, I recommend you going up to Image, checking on Mode, and making it so it is an RGB file. An RGB file tends to print better. The other thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to set your image size. When you bring up your image, you don't want it to be in a resolution that is any bit higher than 200 dpi, 150 dpi is definitely fine for any type of printing onto fabric, which you're going to do today. The width is 16, the height is 12 and a half. I'll go ahead and hit OK to that. The one thing I will do is, since this graphic is horizontal and I'm going to be printing out um, it horizontal, I'll leave it the same exact way. I'm going to go up to File and I'll go down to print. You'll have your options when you print. If you're printing a polyester fabric, we can do it using the easy die sub button that's selected here. And then all we have to do is basically just set our page size and our RGB source profile. Underneath page size, click on letter. You can go down. If we're going to be printing on to rolls, we will choose postscript custom page size. You also notice that we also have a preset page sizes already done for you. In this case, since I already know that my graphic is 16 inches wide, 12 and a half tall, I'm going to land up printing onto a roll paper. I'll use cut postscript custom page size. The width I'm going to choose is the width of my roll, which is 17 inches. The height. I'm going to choose 12.5. I then need to choose my paper feed direction. If the width field is larger than the height field, you use long edge first. If the width was smaller than the height, you would use short edge first. I'll go ahead and hit OK. Then I can come down here and choose my RGB source profile. I recommend NTSC 1953 or color match RGB to begin with. You should ultimately test out your own based on your own graphics you're using using a color chart. You could go ahead and then send that file to the RIP. If you're doing something that is besides polyester fabric, you can also come over and choose the full version of the RIP software. Same exact process we're going. This time we're going to go multi-RIP, Stylish Pro, Click on the properties, go down to advance. Now you have the complete RIP settings. You'll go to your page size, depending on what you have. In this case, we'll check our page size. Come over here, set our width to 17, because that's the width of the roll. 12 and a half was the height of the graphic. And then again, long edge first. Underneath the full version, you have the ability to choose between what ink type you're going to use and also which media type you're going to use. If you notice, all of the ones that do not have a yellow warning triangle are the ones that work in conjunction with the sublimation ink. If you choose one that does not work with sublimation ink, for example, transfer photo, which is used with your heat transfer ink, you'll notice the yellow triangles come up. So we'll go ahead in this case and we're going to set this one to mouse pad. Then you can choose whether you'd like to mirror your image. In this case, if you're doing die sub, you want to have your mirror, your image mirrored 
either in your graphics software program or at the RIP. You also will choose, again, your RGB source profile. And then down at the bottom, you have your ability to use the imposition feature. For more information on this, please go to the imposition video to learn more about this. Go ahead, OK, OK, and OK. Both of those files will be sent to the RIP. You'll notice there's a status message. You'll also notice in this case there's no incoming job yet until the other job comes in. The first job we sent went to the Process Jobs tab and both to the Pages of Printers tab. Underneath the Process Job tab, if you double click on the file name, it'll bring up a window and you'll want to click on the number 1, which is the page we're going to view, and you'll see our graphic is located right here, mirrored image for us. You'll also have a similar capability in the Pages of Printers tab. You'll notice in the Pages of Printers tab, if you double click on the name, you can view it there as well. It'll give you the ability to preview it. You can also pause, restart, and delete the job. If you right click over the job, you also have the ability to set a production run and to export the printed formatted file. This will keep you, if you ever have to redo a job, from going back into your graphic software program, setting everything up, and also the RIP. The other thing I'd like to show you is the second file that is begin spooling. You will notice that your printer will begin printing during the spooling process. It does not require the entire job to be sent to the printer before it begins work. That is basically how to use the multi-RIP interface. If you would like more instructions and are a current user of multi-RIP, please go to www.multiripusers.com. If you're looking to find more information about Multirip, please go to www.multirip.com to view our other videos or to find the closest distributor to you. Thank you.